Hi, welcome back to another tutorial. Today I'll be talking about how to make your film in the style of a lot of 50s black and white films. So, of course, this will just emulate the look and not be exactly a copy of the look. And if you really want it to be accurate, then of course it's better to use equipment and techniques from the time. But if you just want the easy way, this is the best way. So, first of all, off, you want to go in Final Cut, have your clips. You want to make a project by going to File new project of course but you want to change the uh as the video ratio to custom and then you want to find a four by three ratio which is the square ratio that you prefer and you want to find it in the pixels of course and the one i'm going to be using is 12 or 10 24 by 7 6 oh sorry 10 24 by 7 uh, 68 and that's just one that I found to work well and be a generally good size so after you have that in then you'll want to drag your clips and I'm just gonna drag the video into your timeline and then once you have it there oh sorry I had to detach the audio delete that of course if you're using the audio and then you want to go to the filters and you want to grab three different filters and you want to do it in this order too, which is the custom LUTs, which I showed how to install in the last video. Then once you have that on your clip, then you want to grab film grain. And then after you have that, then you just want to grab the basic black and white filter, which should come with a uh, final cut. And then once you have all of those, then you want to go to film grain. I prefer the realistic grain and I like to cut it to around 50 to 70. Then the black and white, you just want to make sure it's on 100. And then you'll see that you have your LUT on none. And then this is where I really like to be able to customize a lot. And the ones I found to work really well are the 70s, Kobe 3, and a lot of the film looks. And they just help get the contrast on your video a lot more similar to those old films. Of course, you can adjust it a bit more. Then once you have the film LUT you like on it and you like the contrast on it, then you want to enlarge your shot until it fits in the frame and here you can edit it to be like the composition you like. And then once you click that, you just click done. Then I, li I really like to go and edit the exposure a bit more because you'll see that a lot of old 50s films really only have three colors of grays, which is the really dark blacks, which are very close to black, or super dark gray, and then a kind of medium gray, and then a really bright white. So I really like to have kind of the extremes on the color board. And of course, it is a lot better if you can do this in filming, because you you pay more attention to the contrast when filming instead of the coloring. But of course, you can always edit it afterwards. Then once I have one that I really like, you click, you right click on the one you like, and you, or sorry, you press uh, Command C to copy it. Then you want to select the rest of yours, click Edit, Paste Attributes, and then you just want to paste the effects, but none of the transform. And I prefer the get rid of the color board just so I can edit that exposure later. Then you have it all, all the rest of your clips. And since you are relying a lot less on color, you have to pay a lot more attention to the contrast in the image. So here, even though it is the exact same as the others, I have to lower it a lot more to get it to look like a look even similar. And then of course here, since I relied a lot more on color when taking this shot, it's a lot hard to see the a lot harder to see the contrast but you just kind of have to mess with it see what looks right you can always go back and look up actual 50s movies and kind of compare but yeah that's about it to getting that kind of 50s look through uh emulating it with filters versus filming it and that's all